Top Hadoop Interview Questions and Answers 2024, Updated. In general, the question-answer round does not involve a high level of Hadoop interview questions, but rather a trick- But before we start moving forward make sure to subscribe channel and click on the bell icon, Sprint Seal provides training programs, certification programs on their websites. If you're interested in them do check out the links in the description. Specifically, here one which is far more objective than thought. To be great in Hadoop, one must have to be literally a mastering writing Java. The only factor that separates Hadoop from Spark is cost-effectiveness, and for a professional, with Hadoop certification, the market offers a lot as it is still considered a niche skill. All the Hadoop interviews that take place for a Hadoop developer focus more on the pragmatic side. That is the reason that the interviewer tends to indulge candidates more in competency mapping. It is wise for a candidate not to take abrupt turns while you're answering, as the hiring authority focuses more on direct answers. Be crisp and clear with your responses. Hadoop is not as fast as Spark but is faster than the traditional system which is written in Java and follows batch processing in use. This article is all about answering the most asked questions in the interview for a Hadoop developer. Lists of commonly asked Hadoop interview questions and answers 2024. Most of the candidates attempting to be Hadoop developers fail on the first attempt missing the frequent interview questions in Hadoop. We have curated sets of Hadoop interview questions and answers below vital for interview preparation. Nevertheless, persistence, patience, and a strategic routine are totally key rules to cracking any interview. Here are top Hadoop questions and answers which you can look at for a better understanding of the subject. Basic Hadoop Interview Questions and Answers Set 1 Here are the basic Hadoop interview questions and answers. 1. What do you mean by Hadoop and its component? The ideal way to answer this question is by sticking to the main components which are the storage units and processing framework. When it comes to defining Hadoop, you have to start with big data. Below we have provided you a sample answer to which you can relate and form your own answers. It is an open source distributed processing framework for pet stores and the process is big data. The end users can use this software and have access to a network of many computers to resolve problems related to mammoth amounts of data and its computation. It is commonly used for commodity hardware and is designed for computer clusters. The best part is all the common occurrences of problems and failures in the hardware is fundamentally handled by the framework itself. At its core, we have a storage part, which is called a Hadoop distributed file system, followed by a processing part, which is known as a MapReduce programming model. In a way, we can work on a distributed file system and has the capabilities to work in a cross-platform operating system. The base Apache framework consists of the following modules that contain libraries and utilities, a distributed file system for storing data on commodity machines. It also uses YARN which is a platform responsible for computing resources in clusters. All the large-scale data is processed through a programming model called MapReduce. 2. Define HDFS and YARN Hadoop Distributed File System is known as HDFS, Phi yet another resource negotiator is known as YARN. HDFS is designed to store data in blocks in a diverse environment and architecture. The environment consists of a master node, which is called a name node. This is where all the data are structured in blocks, location, and replication factors, making it to the metadata information repository. The slave nodes which are responsible for the storage and block communication and replication factors are known as data nodes. The name node is responsible for managing all the data nodes in our master and slave topology. Yet another resource negotiator, YARN, is defined as a processing framework that provides execution and management of resources stored in the environment. It has a resource manager who is responsible for acting upon the received processing request. It corresponds with node managers and initiates actual processing. It works in a batch mode and allocates resources to applications based on their needs. An old manager, 
which is a part of yarn, can be found in every data node responsible for the execution of the task. Suggested Read Hadoop Framework Guide 2024 3. Illustrate the steps to fix the name node when it is a malfunction. H. We have to follow a three-step approach in troubleshooting Hadoop cluster up problems, and they are. FS image, otherwise called metadata replica, is used to start a new name node in the file system. Then we start the configuration process. Further data nodes, as well as the clients, are acknowledged as a new name node after the initiation of the first step. In the end, we get enough block reports from the data nodes that are loaded from the last checkpoint FS image. This usually takes up a lot of time to redirect and extract the data, which may serve as a great challenge while doing routine maintenance. But with the use of high availability architecture, we can eliminate it in no time. 4. What do you mean by a checkpoint? This is a process that takes the request for file system metadata replica, edits the log, and further compacts them into a new FS image. 1. Check preconditions get getImage. UtImage is equal to 1 dash 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 HTTP get to getImage dash 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 get getImage dash 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 new FS image data dash 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 saves to intermediate file name UtImage completes dash 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 save MD5 file and renames FS image to final destination. 2. User F submit checkpointing MKDIR, foo, dash 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 name node edit log. 5. Illustrate how HDFS fault is tolerant. The problem with a single machine is that in a legacy system, the relational database performs both read and writes operations by the users. Here is a brief illustration of HDFS fault. If any contingency situation arises like a mechanical failure or power down from the user has to wait still, the issue is corrected manually. Another set of problems with legacy systems is that we have to store the data in a range of gigabytes. The data storage capacity was limited and enhanced data storage capacity. We have to buy a new server machine. It directly fixes the cost of maintaining file systems and issues related to it. With the all-new Hadoop distributed file system, we can overcome storage capacity problems and tackle favorable conditions like machine failure, RAM crash, and power down. HDFS, otherwise known as highly fault-tolerant, handles the process of replica creation quite intuitively, making clusters of user data in different machines. The main component that helps to provide stability in fault tolerance is called erasure coding. It improves the quality of the replication factors and enhances durability to contingencies. It is achieved in two ways and they are as follows. Replication mechanism. The idea here is to create a replica of the data block and store them in the data node. The replica's list entirely depends upon the replication factor that ensures no loss of data due to replicas stored on a variety of machines. Erasure coding RAID or redundant array of independent disks makes practical usage of the erasure coding by having effective space-saving methods. It can reduce up to 50% of storage overhead for each strip of the original dataset. If you found this video informative and useful, We'll always bring new concepts explained for you, so stay tuned with Sprint Seal and if you like the video do share, if have any doubts or queries do let us know in the comment section. Use the coupon code YouTube10 in our website to get 10% off on all our courses.